Hey guys, Saintsman here, and in today's GTA 5 video, what we're going to be talking about are some unreleased game modes. We're going to be revisiting some stuff that was found in the game files and how it actually might be coming out in the Biker DLC. In addition, and, and this is all from FunMW2, a lot of you guys obviously know him, I'll leave a link in the description. He got some new information about one of those adversary modes, and it actually sounds kind of crazy, so hopefully you guys enjoy. Now, way back about a few months ago, Fun MW2 posted this on the GTA forums. He found four adversary modes that came in the update that came out in July. He had Trading Places, Power Play, and then two unknowns. Now, obviously, Trading Places and Power Play are both released. The two unknowns, though, one's called Death Race, and then one is called Death Stunt. At least that's the name in the game files. That's probably not what they're going to be called once they actually come out in the game, but that's their name at the moment, or three months ago. He says, after looking around with stuff related to the death stunt, he found out that there's an in-game text that actually appears when you start or while playing. And it says to redeploy from the cargo bob. So it almost kind of sounds like the power play adversary mode, but that came out in January. So this is something different. And then at the bottom, it says confirming that the name is correct as it's death stunt for the second one. When they did some research about the death race, it checked to see if your vehicle was a bicycle. Maybe you were hunted by a rival team in a bicycle, and he said it also could have been changed to a motorcycle in that time during the development process. And just thinking about that, if they did change them to motorcycles, guess what's coming out soon? The Bikers DLC, which consists of motorcycles. So I'm thinking that this DLC, this Bikers DLC, is going to be releasing one of these two adversary modes since they involve bikes in some way. I'm not entirely sure what the cargo bob is. However, it would be pretty cool if in one of these adversary modes, if it's death stunt, you're deploying from the back of a cargo bob, but instead of you having a parachute, it's you going out on a motorcycle and trying to hit some crazy stunt. That actually sounds kind of cool, and a motorcycle would definitely fit in the back of a cargo bob, so I wouldn't be surprised if that's an adversary mode we see in this update. The newest information, though, coming from FunMW2, he said he had some time left, and he, used it, and he used it to dig into the code some more, and he says, if you remember the list I posted a while ago about the unannounced adversary modes, the last one in the game files says FMMC underscore ADVM, adversary mode, underscore VV which he says it's similar to power play, but it's vehicles related. He said you can also find temporary power-ups that you can use to gain advantage over your opponents. And since underscore PP is power play, he's assuming that underscore VV is gonna be vehicles versus vehicles. And here are the power-ups in this adversary mode. There's rockets, there's speed boost, there's a ghost feature, a beast feature, force accelerate, flipped controls, zoned, detonator, and bomb. Then he continues by saying, however, they won't work like they do in power play. When you collect the beast, your vehicle won't transform into some kind of robot like transformers. What actually happens is it'll spawn the rhino and place you inside of that as that's the beast, quote unquote, for vehicles. He's not sure about the last two, but you get the point for the name. So rockets, kind of like in GTA races, speed boost, again, kind of like in GTA races, the ghost feature, you're probably, your, your vehicle probably just goes invisible, the beast, the tank, like I just mentioned, force accelerate, that's probably giving someone else the ability to go faster, probably an enemy to get them away from you, flip controls, I'm sure that'd be really hard to drive with flip controls, zoned, I'm not entirely sure, maybe it just slows down time, the detonator, and bomb, those two go hand in hand, so maybe somebody gets a bomb and you can detonate it, or maybe vice versa. Either way, it's it's kind of funny that they're introducing all this stuff, because a game I play a lot, and I don't know if you guys play it, but Rocket League actually just came up with a crazy mode where they had a bunch of features like this, and it kind of feels like that that is what Rockstar's doing with this adversary mode. Now, this one might not come in the Bikers DLC, because it's not really biker-themed, but maybe, since this does sound like a pretty cool one, they might introduce that in November after the Bikers DLC when people are sort of getting tired of the biker stuff. They're like, you know what, we want something new? Bam, there's the new adversary mode. So you guys can let me know in the comment section what you think about all this. It's actually kind of interesting. I mean, not that I like adversary modes that often. I will say power play was kind of fun, 
but all the other ones I've not really enjoyed. However, you know, the one with the car, that sounds kind of cool, especially if it's in some sort of race maybe or something. And then the one stunting on a motorcycle at the back of a cargo bob, if that's what it is, I mean, that's what it kind of feels like according to the game files, then that sounds really awesome as well. But we'll have to wait and see. I just wanted to keep you guys updated on this. Hopefully we get some more biker information, maybe tomorrow, maybe we get a trailer or something. Anyway, that is it though. See you in the next one. As always, it's your boy Saints fan. I'm out. Peace.